It is another test case for the police. Not the first time any of the personnel of a service will be embroiled in a controversial matter. But if you saw the viral video of a gang attacking the police officers in Axim, you will suspect threat of harm. But it is emerging the policemen were negotiating with the attackers to be released. Leader of a gang has been speaking about the circumstances under which they accosted the policemen. We work with the police to extort monies from many Galamsey sites. This is contrary to information released by the police service over the weekend about the retrieval of some arms and cartridges from the suspects. The guns that were retrieved are not for us. The police says it has referred the claims of extortion contained in that video to the Police Professional Standards Bureau, PIPS. But that is where the problem is. The police cannot investigate itself. That has been a call that has long been championed by civil society groups, human rights advocates and other individuals in society. I lead the team to sites and I give them the extorted monies. And for the umpteenth time, there are fresh calls for the establishment of an independent investigative body to look into some of these matters. Security analyst Imano Kutin cannot emphasize this enough. Lovers of democracy, civil voices, must amplify this call. That it is about time we have an independent police commission not headed by the police. Because the state we are at the moment, the police cannot investigate its own. That the lenses and intelligence are picked. This police officer is not alone. There are other police officers involved. Once the four suspects who are currently in custody to be treated as informants rather than criminals. We need to do an audit of the current personnel we have in the system. If it was in other jurisdictions, the civilians would have been treated as uh, 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 informants, if you like, or people of interest who can help the case of the police. Because the conduct of the police personnel uh, was very untenable to the extent that civilians can disarm a trained police officer with an AK-47 is very troubling. So for us to treat the suspects as criminal, we should rather treat the suspects as people who can help unravel the circumstances leading to certain police personnel colluding with illegal miners. It's now the word of a police on one hand versus that of a gang. And like many other cases in the past, we may just not see the end of this one unless the Inspector General of Police decides to make an example of a case in point. Yeah. <laughs>